All right, welcome to the backside of uh, building that ROM. So, we can see the build completed successfully. It took approximately three hours, two minutes, 19 seconds. And, uh, you know, if you scroll through here, you can see uh, all the data from when it was being built and whatnot. This should be pretty typical to what you're seeing if you uh, are following along or doing something very similar. So, once again, this is Lineage OS 17 or based on Android 10 and we're building it for the discovery so we looked at what we do to flash this for AOSP and uh, this might seem a little basic for some of you but for those who are new this is how we flash uh, the um, completed ROM to the phone and that's using Team Win Recovery Project so what we have here in the Lineage 17 out target product discovery directory is the uh, unofficial discovery zip that I built and we're now going to take this and put it onto the phone so I actually have the phone hooked up in uh, fast boot mode right now and in my folder I have the team win recovery project uh, image and then the uh, lineage image that we're going to be flashing. So with a lot of these modern phones uh, they actually don't come with a recovery partition. They've started putting them together with the boot image which is something they used to do a long time ago and then they stopped doing and now it seems like they're doing it again. So maybe it's just kind of happenstance which uh, whichever way that goes. Um, there are ways of making partitions and doing things to to make a permanent team win recovery project uh, area, but um, for this particular phone, we're just going to use uh, fast boot to flash it temporarily. So we uh, fast boot, and then we boot. We want to actually boot this Team Win Recovery Project and just boot from it instead of uh, flashing it to the device. So it's going to download it. It says OK, and then our phone is screen is blinking and. Now it's rebooting and going to Team Win Recovery Project. And then we're going to ADB sideload this, uh, this ROM here in just a second. So I've got the Team Win Recovery uh, Project screen 3.3.1-3. It asks me, do I want to swipe to allow modifications? I say yes. Uh, and then typically what I like to do for a new ROM is I'll wipe and I'll do an advanced wipe and I'll wipe everything. Um, if you're building something for the first time to flash onto a phone, it's a good idea to format data. And you say, wow, do I really need to do that? Well, sometimes the data can be encrypted or uh, locked down in such a way that the new custom ROM can't use it. So I really recommend that you do that, uh, especially if you're building something for the very, very first time. So then I click on advanced and ADB sideload and it's sitting here ready to do so. So I ADB sideload and then I say our lineage zip right there. So I swipe to start the sideload, it says it started, I hit enter and now it starts serving it to the phone. Now one thing you will notice, this uh, percentage bar will not get to 100% typically typically it'll be somewhere between 30 and 50 percent depending on the phone that you're using and then it will stop there and wait for the phone to complete the remaining portion which is actually installing so pretty typical thing to see with side load um, you know of course we could have uh, if we put in a uh, you know an external SD card we could have put it on there uh, we could have just uh, ADB and pushed it to the phone after wiping the phone. Obviously, if you push it before you wipe the phone, then it will be gone. But So you could uh, put it on there after you wipe the phone and just install it like normal through the regular Team Win Recovery Project menus. Um, but uh, I really like this ADB side load. It's pretty handy uh, and uh, seems to work work fairly well for me. Um, especially for uh, for the phones that I'm using typically uh, I'm going to be putting a lot of different uh, uh, ROMs on there as I go through and make different things so just something to, to keep in mind different methods to do things 
So it's about 26% here. Going to take it just a few more moments. And we'll what we're watching for on the uh, phone screen is I'm going to watch for any errors. So typically after you build something, uh, a ROM of this sort, especially for the first time for a device that maybe you've never built before, or if you're building a device tree from scratch, I have a lot of videos on that if you'd like to check those out. But one of the things you'll see is uh, as you flash it the first time, you'll run into the possibility of having some errors during the flash. And some of those errors are going to be related to Team Win Recovery Project. Like, uh, you know, for this particular phone, if you don't have the latest version of Team Win Recovery Project, often you'll get an error uh, number seven when trying to flash a uh, Android 10 builds. There's a commands in there that it just doesn't quite understand if you have the old builds of Team Win Recovery Project. So you have to make sure you have the latest version for your device. Uh, other things that we might see would be if uh, uh, this phone is called Discovery, but uh, when you are um, going through and setting up your device tree, you can say which target devices you want to be able to flash this to. And uh, if you've uh, either messed that up or missed the one that particularly your um, Team Win Recovery Project is reporting your phone as, then it will give you an error saying, oh, you said you wanted to flash this to a discovery, but this is a H3223, and uh, so I can't flash this to this device. And then you'd have to go in and either either edit the uh, zip, or you'd have to go in and fix your tree, which fixing the tree ultimately would be the right answer, but uh, you might edit the zip just so you can flash it real quick to see what happens. So, as you can see, the transfer stopped at uh, one, uh, 47%, and then it says total transfer was 1.00x, which means it transferred the entire package. Uh, and then on the phone, it went through step 1 of 2, and then step 2 of 2, and now it just seems to be done. So, we're going to uh, reboot this phone and uh, see what happens. So unfortunately we didn't see any errors there. I didn't anticipate one, but I was hoping we might. Just that it would make it uh, more interesting as we go through uh, looking at the different aspects of building custom ROMs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this while we boot this up and uh, then we'll check it out on the flip side. All right, so it booted up successfully, and I've got it loaded up using uh, ADB control, uh, so that way we can just check it out together here. But if we go to our settings and about phone, uh, we can see all sorts of probably really important information that I shouldn't be showing you. But uh, Android version 10 and uh, build number here. Uh, that we just built this. So that's really handy. Um, of course, we just utilized a device tree that another developer had built, uh, Luke uh, 1337, uh, just did a phenomenal job uh, building this uh, device tree and uh, is the uh, maintainer for the discovery and the pioneer, I believe, for uh, lineage OS. So uh, credits and kudos go to him. Definitely don't want to take credit for that. Um, but yeah, so here we have a great, uh, great functioning build. And, uh, you know, now, now would be time to do things like custom edits, custom uh, ROMs, uh, things that you would want to do, like adding your own apps or something like that. Uh, I do highly recommend if you're building for the first time, that Lineage OS is where you start. Um, it's going to be the easiest one to build and it has the most support and it supports the most devices as well so uh, I really really recommend if you're just getting started in building uh, Lineage OS that's where you need to be. So uh, hopefully that this was helpful. We're going to take a look uh, next time I think about adding um, 
adding some things and, and doing some things. I know next up uh, we're going to build Resurrection Remix and we're going to look at converting a device tree from Lineage OS to Resurrection Remix and, uh, and how we go through that process there. So that should be pretty interesting. Hopefully uh, that will be a fun thing for you to watch as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.